Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Desiree. I am with Stormwind Live, and this video is based on hexadecimal. So uh, basically, when we look at hex, uh, it's just a base 16 numbering system. And what we're going to need to know, at least for the CCNA Data Center exam, is how to do hex to decimal and hex to binary conversion. So we're going to kind of go back around to the concepts that we looked at when we were doing uh, things like subnetting and converting our IP addresses into binary. Uh, and what I did was I actually started to put together uh, this whiteboard that we're going to kind of utilize to be able to do uh, some quick um, conversion. So essentially what we see here is on the right hand side, um, we see that uh, we have some additional characters with hex. We know hex is base 16. So instead of moving our character from the number nine to a one and a zero in the tens field, uh, like we would uh, with normal decimal, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that nine to the letter A to represent the value of 10 what we're used to in, uh, in decimal. And then a B is gonna represent 11, a C is gonna represent 12, etc. So we're gonna kind of utilize those um, when we start getting into our actual converting. So really one of the easiest ways for me to show you how to do this conversion is just to go through a couple examples. Now, uh, just like when we were doing our decimal to binary and binary to decimal, um, we would have our 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw these placeholders right under these numbers. Now, uh, I continued to carry this a little bit further, further just because a lot of times when we're doing hex conversion, they're gonna give us examples that have um, three characters in that number, and each one of these blocks is basically going to represent a character. So let's say, for example, on, on the exam, we're given a hex value, and they'll demonstrate a hex value with that 0x. Um, let's say, for example, maybe something like a, 8, 2. So essentially, what we'll have to do is we'll have to either give that number in binary, give it in decimal, or they may even have us do the reverse. They might give us like a binary number and we'll have to convert it to hex or possibly uh, give us the decimal and then convert it to hex. So this is gonna be applicable no matter which direction or way we decide to utilize this. So each one of these characters will be represented in each one of these boxes. So of course, if we're just given a nice easy number like the number two, or you know, like the number 15, we're gonna utilize um, this first block um, to, to do that conversion for us. So when we were uh, studying that, uh, binary to decimal and decimal to binary, um, you know, we were using these little place values if we needed to find something like, I don't know, the number five. It was really easy. We would just take, you know, this um, eight would be too much, so that would be a zero. Uh, we would turn four on. Uh, two would be too much because four and two would be six. And then we would need that one to give us five. So this is our decimal value and this is our binary value. Um, so all we can do uh, is basically take that same theory and apply it to each one of these blocks. So essentially what we're going to do is, sure, we're going we're gonna to use that 8, 4, and 2, 1 value in that first block, but we'll also need to carry this over because we're going to use those same values just to determine, let's say, for example, the 8 that we have over here or the a that we have over here, but um, a four two one. But once we figured out what the binary value is for a or eight or two, let me put two over here. We'll eventually need to add it all up to figure out what the entire value is going to be in, let's say, for example, decimal. So let's first figure this out in binary, right? So two is going to be easy because it's gonna be whoop, whoop, one, whoop. All right, so that's our first number. When we move on over to the left, in order to find the eight, well, that's another really easy one, right? 
we'll just go, sorry, I started taking, taking turns with my different placeholders here. I'll, I'll do that clear for the next example. And then for the last one, A is the number 10, right? So we just have to convert 10 to um, binary. So eight and one gives us 10. So our entire string of binary looks like this. Now, one of the things we can do, of course, is utilize that for an answer. If they wanted us to convert this hex number to binary, this would be our binary number. But what if they wanted us to convert it to decimal? Well, then we would just add up all of these placeholders up at the top. So sure, you could write that out, the 2048 plus 512. And then we'd also want the 128 and then the two. So if you have your calculator, you can go ahead and add those up. You can jot those down on a scrap piece of paper and we can also double check our work. So why don't you guys go ahead and punch those numbers in and figure it out. And what I'll do is I'll utilize this time to show you how to find a quick hex converter. Just punch it into Google hex converter. You can click on this very first link if you'd like. Um, so hex to decimal converter. If we type in our value A82 and do our convert, oh, oh, let me make sure this page is actually allowed. We should have 2690. All right, so hopefully for those of you that punched in those numbers, you can give yourself a pat on the back and say, all right, I know how to use a calculator. <laughs> all right, so that was one example. Let's go through one more example, and then uh, actually we'll go through two more examples so that you can really get a feel for how to exactly do this. All right, so let me clean up my whiteboard really quick. Okay, so now that I cleaned up my whiteboard, I also added some placeholders and I also carried that 8421 over into our other blocks. Uh, now what we're going to go through is an example using the hex number letter D, number three, number five. So again, each one of these blocks up top, we're gonna have to do a conversion for. We'll be utilizing the 8421 to determine the conversion for anything between zero and 15. Remember our maximum number is 15. So if we had all ones in every single one of those placeholders, 15 in binary, right, is one, 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 one. So if all those bits were on, we'd get 15. All right, so um, D, well, that's uh, gonna be 13, right? So we want eight plus four is 12 plus one is 13. So uh, that's gonna be our uh, binary number for that specific character. So we've done that. Now we want three. So two and one is three. So we got that one. And then for the number five, we just want four and one. So we have that one. Now all we need to do is add up 2048 plus 1024 plus 256. So if you guys want to punch those in or hand write those out, you can do that. Plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. So we're just adding up all these numbers that have the number 1 under them in order to get the equivalent decimal number needed. Um, for the D35. So we already got the binary, which is right here. Let's uh, use our handy dandy little calculator. And we had D35. Let me go ahead and click convert. And then you guys can double check your work. Let me make this a little bit bigger too. All right, so we should have 3381 once you've punched those numbers into your calculator. All right, I'm gonna clean up the whiteboard one more time and we'll go through one more ex All right, so I tidied up our whiteboard and let's go through one more small example of, let's do the hex number, uh, how about three C eight, just trying to use different characters. 
All right, so in our eight field, we'll have boom. And then in our C field, we're looking for 12, right? So eight plus four is 12. So those guys will all be off. Um, then what we need to do is we also need to find the number three. So three, C, eight, so let me just draw those out for you. Um, and then three, boom, boom, two plus one is three. So those will all be off. So all we need to do is add up the placeholders where we have a one. So 512 plus 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus eight. And then let me allow you guys to punch those numbers into the calculator. I'll go over to my converter. 3C8 convert. All right, so when you add those up in your calculator, you should get 968. So that was the value um, that we got. So hopefully this uh, was helpful for all of you, gave you a good feel for not just how to take hex numbers and move them over to decimal, but also to figure out uh, what the binary value is as well. Um, obviously, if you were given a binary value, you could just go through and punch those numbers in just the way we did. And you could certainly uh, do the opposite as far as converting them over. So thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy your CCNA data center studies. Take care, everybody.